If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Hello, Louse on the Road subscribers and followers. As uh, a lot of you probably know, I review all comments on our YouTube page. I try to keep the, the comments clean, and I think that it makes for a more friendly environment when, when you know, just people are talking and having a good time uh, with, without a lot of controversy. So I, a lot of the, the, the negative comments that are posted, I delete. No reason to, to, to have a wonderful life, living your dream, and having people argue just to stress each other out and so no I, I delete them that being said I, I do get a lot of negative comments and since the camper fire since the pop-up camper fire and since uh, we've built a cab over truck camper uh, a lot of people have been very upset with me one they feel like that now the, the channel is all about the, the truck camper and it's no longer about living the dream uh, they're upset that I keep down talking the pop-up camper that I convinced a lot of people to live in a pop-up camper And now I'm telling them it's a bad idea well, no um, Be quite honest. I, I actually made several videos where I talked about Not living my dream if you want to live in a pop-up camper. That's your dream My dream was to live out in the national forest free of stress and the pop-up camper was just a tool to do that. For anybody who wants to live in a pop-up camper, if you were to ask me for my advice now, can you live in a pop-up camper, I would have to say no. That's just from my personal experience that you leave a pop-up camper in a campsite and it is, a vul it is vulnerable to somebody doing bad things to it, such as burning it down. For me to sit here and, and, and sugarcoat anything that's not what this channel has ever been about i've always said the good the bad and the ugly well there you go all wrapped up in a nice little package the bad and the ugly with someone burning your camper down so no i i don't think i will ever consider the idea of living in a pop-up camper again um, we made this truck camper let's talk about the folks who says i've not made the channel about living the dream anymore i've made the channel about living in a truck camper well okay Maybe there is some argument too that I talked a lot about the truck camper But if you go back and look at the videos, it's because our pop-up camper burnt down I was trying to communicate to everybody that the dream is is in a serious crisis right now And I have to figure out how to fix it Which we did and that was in yesterday's video. I talked about not failing continuing the dream keeping the dream alive And so I had to show the process of keeping the dream alive the dream to me has since improved. We are more flexible than we were before in the pop-up camper. We, we get into the campsite, pop-up camper really dictated what we did for those two weeks. Stay in a national forest, miles away from any sightseeing activities. Well, today we are at my mother's house. We, we pulled up, on, not last night, but the night before. We got here about seven o'clock. I wanted to surprise her. She knew we were coming, but she wasn't sure when. And we pulled up in the in the parking spot that I always parked in before we lived in the camper. Could I have done that in the pop-up? No. I'd have had to call mom. Hey, mom, you got any space there? I mean, it's a very you know small piece of property. Uh, she lives in a, in a city, a small town. Uh, she has two vehicles here parked in her driveway so there's no room in the driveway she, we might have been able to park over on by the fence here we just pulled up in the driveway or you know, on the side of the road where I always park and we've just hung out here we're sleeping in the camper uh, it, it's been a great experience had we called mom and mom would have said yeah boy I don't know where we can put that pop-up we would have had to drive to a little conservation area down the road I think it's about 12 miles the nice thing is is last night we sat in and visited with mom she fixed his supper we visited with her i think from oh gosh probably four o'clock to to maybe 10 o'clock and we watched tv and had conversation well if we'd have been in the pop-up we would have had to have left before it got dark i just never felt safe leaving the pop-up in the campsite after dark that meant we would have had to leave around i don't know eight o'clock to get there before it got dark but here we just I mean, the, the camper is right outside. 
Our dream has become so much more flexible. We can just go wherever we want to go, whenever we want to do it. If, if we get to a campsite and it doesn't pan out, no big deal. We just go to a rest stop or a rest area and stay there. You know, it, it doesn't have to be so methodical. It doesn't have to be stressful anymore. Just the other day, I told everybody the other day, we built a shower inside the camper now. So we don't even have to rely on the shower tent. We don't have to set it up. So the other day, we were at a little conservation area, no water, just parked on the side of the road, a gravel road. Well, we went to the Missouri State Park, to the day use area, which is free. You don't have to pay a state park for the day use area. You only have to pay for the camping. So we went to the day use area. We set up the picnic table, got a barbecue grill out. We had a picnic, made some coffee. And we had a shower inside the camper using the, the, the water from the state park. We could have never done that in the pop-up. It would have been impossible. Now we don't even have to worry about having water at location. The, the, the dream has become so much more with the truck camper. And the, the pop-up, for those of you that are in love with the pop-up and really think that we should have stuck with the pop-up. The pop-up really taught us a lot of things in the first year of our adventure to make the rest of our lives even better. And maybe in a couple years, this camper will outlive its usefulness and we will have learned things from it to make the next part of our adventure even better. I know a lot of people are disappointed. A lot of people always ask me when I had the pop-up, have I ever considered upgrading? No, I never considered it. It was it was wonderful when we had it. But since it is no longer there, we had to think outside the box and we came up with something better. So the channel is supposed to teach you the good, the bad, and the ugly of living your dream. And I feel like I did that. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video and happy travels.